Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Monday, we've got two Monday Night Football games happening tonight, so that should be exciting. We've got a lot of breaks lined up. Thanks for joining us. Uh, first break of the day is gonna be 2022 Panini Absolute Football 20 box blaster case. Random team break number one, all cards ship, and we're kaboom hunting here. Big thanks to this group for making it happen, appreciate you. And there are all 32 teams right there. Good luck. Let's roll it. Randomize names and teams. Four and a six, ten times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We've got Christopher down to Jason. Four and a six, ten times for the teams. One, two, three. And after 10, we got the Falcons down to the Browns. So here's how it shakes out. There is a trade window, so feel free to trade if you'd like. Christopher, you have the Falcons. Francis with the Panthers, Alexander with the Patriots, Chris with the Jags, Caitlin with the Dolphins, Brian with the Colts, Lucas with the Bengals, Nestor with the Ravens, Jared with the Titans, Wes, you got the Texans, Brian with my Raiders, Chris with the Niners, Monty with the Cowboys, Wes with the Saints and Cardinals, Lucas with the Jets, Omar with the Steelers, Tim, last spot mojo, Vikings, Tyler with the Broncos, Peter with the Packers, Chris Parent with the Buccaneers, Wes with the Giants, Karen with the Lions, Wes with the Seahawks and Bills, Benny with the Eagles, Logan with the Chargers, Francis with the Commanders, Allen with the Chiefs, Jarrett with the Bears, Christopher with the Rams, and Jason Rivers with the Cleveland Browns. Cleveland, this is for you. All right, let's alphabetize by team. And we're gonna pause the video for a few moments. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back everybody. TWC trade window closed, no deals were done. And so the list right here remains the same here on Monday the 11th. Thanks everybody for getting into it, for making this happen, appreciate you. And settle in. We've got 20 blaster boxes to, to do. I don't know how long this takes. I, maybe 45 minutes? Maybe an hour? Maybe less? I don't know. It's sort of an awkward shaped case as well. So we were talking a little bit about deferred, uh, deferred money as it pertains to Otani, among others. Yeah, the deferring doesn't happen too often. But yeah, Bonilla is still getting paid 1.2 million until 2035. But yeah, thanks EA. Now the Dodgers need to address the real issue, uh, which is pitching. Starting pitching, Otani can't pitch until 2025. And even then, I don't know if he'll, he's still kind of be coming off a major surgery, so, you know, that doesn't help the Dodgers now. And starting pitching is what is what they really need at the moment. All right, so I'm stacking all 20 boxes up there. Four groups of five. So what are we looking for here? Looking for autographs and memorabilia cards. Ultra rare ka kaboom and explosive inserts. Three green parallels. I don't know if an autograph or memorabilia is guaranteed per box, but I guess we'll find out. Maybe a, maybe a relic is guaranteed and then not an auto, something like that. Yeah, could be good for, for us now, hurt us later, but you know, if Otani delivers, helps deliver, you know, two or three World Series in, in his in a ten year span, I don't think I don't think too many Dodger fans are gonna complain about that. All right, and all card ship. Good luck, everybody. These are the green parallels right there. And also, this is 2022, so think about your 2022 draft class. 
There's another green parallel. And there's a relic. We've got Hassan Haskins, rookie relic for, let's get my list back up here, for Jared and the Titans. Do I think he helps, he did that to help the Dodgers get Yamamoto, maybe. I think Otani just did it because I think he's just kind of a different cat, right? Where he realizes, hey, I know I deserve this money. <laughs> I'm a very unique player. But I also understand that, that I don't want to tie up a team's payroll because ultimately I, I also want to win. Yeah, so there, there's ways to do that. I feel like the Chiefs were creative with Mahomes' contract somehow. Mahomes, so people can, 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 can get paid. I know maybe, I feel like each of Tom Brady's extensions with the Patriots, I think, was also designed to get him paid, obviously, but not, not put a stranglehold on the, on the, uh, on the team. I think he helped just so the Dodgers can keep spending money in general, not just for Yamamoto, but to spend money now and in the future. I heard for the California taxes defer till he's not living there. Possibly. The thing is, though, people always make, I think, a, a thing about taxes, but, you know, the ballplayers pay taxes in every state that they play in, so only half of the salary is going to be taxed California wise, if I'm not mistaken. Jason just sent me a thing that says to bring payments for California taxes. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it might help on the back end. But I also don't know, you know, what, what's taxes like in Japan. I have no idea. You know, and, and at that level, technically, you can you can set up, you know, a residence anywhere. You can set up a residence in Monaco and pay no taxes. You know, so there's, I mean, at that level, I don't think he's worried too much about taxes. But hopefully, uh, hopefully Otani's tax, you know, whatever taxes he pays in California for playing half his, half his games here, you know, hopefully that'll fill some potholes. There's Kenneth Walker, piece of the jersey. Right, yeah. Oh, I mean, I feel like a lot of people, when they're trying to, like, this one go. This will go to West and Seattle. The Zamir White relic goes to uh, Brian and the Raiders, by the way. But like, yeah. If uh, I mean, if you're making seventy million dollars a year, I think, I think you'll you'll be fine with whatever you have left over after taxes.
you know, what's there's all there's that there's been a number of studies where like at a certain at a certain point of of making of earning this money, like at a certain level, the 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 plus or minus like fifty million dollars or whatever, hundred million is like it's not going to make a difference in their life, you know. Tani will be fine, but a lot. I feel like a lot, lot, lot of like free agent sleuths, want to be sleuths on the internet, are like, well, you know, he's gonna go to Texas because, because uh, you know, and then everyone becomes a tax attorney all of a sudden. Yeah, well, it just doesn't pay in income taxes here, and that that's definitely gonna make the difference. Ooh, here's an explosive Cooper Cup. Nice. That's gonna go to Christopher and the Rams. There you go. First of many, I hope, in this break. These look pretty cool. Boom. Wilson had a really nice game yesterday, ladies and gentlemen. Can you believe that? Maybe he's uh, maybe he's back. Is he back? First round QBs in this class? Oh, Kenny Pickett. That's right. How about that Tillon Wallace 76 yard walk off punt return for a TD in overtime? That was pretty awesome. Feel free to vote in our poll, ladies and gentlemen. We've got two Monday Night Football games on. The, uh, the ESPN game is going to be uh, Tennessee at Miami. Miami are the heavy favorites. Here's a Sam Howell rookie car for Francis. Miami is laying 13 and a half points. Now, my guess, you know, you have to think that Miami should win, should win, but are they gonna win by two touchdowns? I have a little investment in the, in the Titans at plus 13, but now I feel like I'm regretting that a little bit. I'm like, wait a second. Adrian. I feel like the Titans offense hasn't really been able to do much in recent weeks. And they're playing a high powered offense in Miami, in Miami. Maybe I've made a terrible mistake. But among voters, 94% are gonna go with the Miami Dolphins minus 13 and a half. We'll run that poll for maybe, for a little bit longer if you just wanna throw in your votes and then I'll post another poll for the other Monday night game happening at the same time, Packers at Giants. Although I wish they would stagger them. Why, why don't, why don't, Think about Monday nights. It's, it's, it's a special game, right? It should be a stand. I wouldn't mind two standalone games, but they're running these games concurrently. I'm not sure if I like that. Hmm. 
And we got a Sam Williams. That it's a different parallel, but does not look like it is numbered. But that'll go to Dallas, that'll go to Monty. box. If there was a redraft of the 2022 draft, um, who would be number one overall in this class? Here's, here's a link to the Wikipedia page to the 2022 NFL Draft if you want to take a look at that. Trayvon Walker went one, Aiden Hutchinson, Derek Stingley, then Sauce Gardner, blah, 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 blah. Of the top five picks, Sauce Gardner is your only pro bowler of that group. Or, you know what? Brock Purdy. It would be Brock Purdy, right? Kind of crazy to think, a little ding in that Sam Howell, unfortunately. Kind of crazy to think that Mr. Irrelevant, I don't even know if, is he in this absolute set? And Mr. Irrelevant would be, uh, would be the most relevant in this draft, number one overall in a redraft. I don't think I've seen any of his cards yet. And we got Deontay Johnson. Got a green parallel of his, not numbered. Stargazing. Another box. Bailey Zappi back. Not back? I don't know who's starting there anymore. And it sounds like they're probably going to overhaul that entire quarterback's room, I think.
right, another blaster box. Good luck. I think we have a relic coming up here. We do. It's rookie force, George Pickens. Piece of the jersey. Going to go to Omar and the Steelers. Blaster box coming up. And after this box, we'll be halfway through the uh, case. So I'll have about another 25 minutes to go after this one. I think I'm kind of on schedule. Close enough. Uh, DJ Moore. Absolute burners. I think that's what it is. A little corner issue there, but piece of the jersey going to Carolina. Still Carolina edition here. And that will be for Francis. All right, halfway through this blaster case, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for hanging. Almost there. And we got two Monday football games. Everyone's pretty convinced that everyone's pretty convinced that it's going to be the uh, the Dolphins here. Let's. Who wins the Monday Night Football game on ABC? Green Bay are the road favorites at minus five and a half at New York Football Giants plus five and a half. Let's start that poll. Let's start the second half of this case. So feel free to put in your votes in the chat, on the YouTube chat. I was able to get the Giants at plus six and a half. I'm going with the Giants. So is Justin Herbert's season done? Looks like I think he likely to have surgery on Tuesday for I think he injured an index finger or something like that. And speaking of the Packers, we got championship fabric, Jordy Nelson. Chargers definitely have to make a coaching change, I would think. Got to get the most out of Justin Herbert. That'd be good for the hobby, too. Uh, Jordy will go to Peter and the Packers.
screen Olave here. This will go to the Saints. That will be for Wes. Another box. Vikings optimistic that Justin Jefferson will return versus the Bengals. Uh, Trubisky's going to start again for the Steelers. Pickett's still out. And we got Jalen Waddle. Absolute burners. It's going to go to Caitlin and the Dolphins. there get a little more absolute going keep an eye on the schedule ladies and gentlemen I think Nightbot drops the schedule for you keep an eye on the schedule we've got a few breaks lined up so if you're wondering hey when's my thing coming up you can always check that uh, we're gonna be signing off a little on the earlier side tonight maybe three or four hours than we usually do because of the giant new release day that's happening so I would you know obviously if you want to do some breaks today Definitely get your spots. I'll do whatever we can. But, um, we'll do whatever we can, but, uh, if not, go to jazbeescasebreaks.com and start pre ordering Bowman Draft. We've got Jumbo and Super Jumbo. Uh, Jason will be going live very early. Breakfast time here on the West Coast. Maybe brunch for the East Coast. 8 a.m. Pacific is around is about when he'll be there. I'm sure first break will probably happen shortly after that, once he gets settled in, maybe goes, goes through some more orders and gets the cases and gets all, all that sorted out. So I would pre-order now. Special Tuesday new release day. Tuesday the 12th. Like a, like a certain quarterback that's in this set this year. So Kenny Pickett for Pittsburgh, that'll be for Omar. Jason will be live early here on YouTube, about 8 a.m. L.A. time. What? Yeah. What about you? On Fanatics Live? It's probably like 9. Oh, yeah. Maybe a little earlier. We'll see. Between 8 and 9. Yeah. You know how we are with time. We're always... <laughs> it's, it's, we're, we're Californians. That's what we were just like, yeah, we'll just get in here whenever. What time are you from? Any earlier? Noon-ish, oh, okay. one-ish around there, just to kind of help kind of maybe pack sack for Jason if he's in the middle of something and then he can start working with you. And a rookie force, can he pick it? I thought it was a gold <laughs> That'd be really nice. That's what Omar's waiting for. Omar and the Steelers, get well soon, Kenny. 
So yeah, so a lot, lot of, lot of early start times for us tomorrow, which means we'll end probably a little bit earlier tonight, seven or eight o'clock for me, depending on how things are going here, group break wise. But we're gonna be pushing the pre-orders, and hopefully, there's a lot of breaks close for tomorrow. Actually, I think tomorrow might be one of the biggest days of the last few months. Another blaster box. What else do we have going on on jazbeescasebreaks.com? We've got a big mixer promo. See that? We got some holiday related mixers. And if we accomplish 20 of those over the next however many weeks it'll take us to do that, then we'll, uh, we'll add your name to a giant list, randomize those names, and there's a lot of great Great prizes. Check out the uh, check out that promo on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We we've only done four mixers. We announced this promo what last Friday or Saturday. We've done four of the twenty mixers. I feel like once we get past Bowman Draft and all the madness that comes with that, I feel like we'll start ramping up or people will start ramping up getting those mixers done and dusted and then at the end you give away a ton of prizes. All right, another five boxes down, five more to go. So, so far, no kabooms, but one explosive insert, which is also ultra rare, according to the box. So, I'd love to finish off with a kaboom or two. And we haven't seen an autograph, right? I'll do a recap at the end. I don't think we've seen an auto. So, maybe we'd love to see an auto. Obviously, the blaster boxes. There's no like case guarantees or anything like that. I think we have another case. I'll have I'll post another one of these. How's everybody's fantasy teams looking? I think playoffs start next week for me. I have to be, well, I, I'm in two leagues. Here's Heinz Ward, piece of his jersey, nice championship fabric, Pittsburgh, Omar. I'm only in two leagues. One of them, terrible, my, my two quarterback, you know, non-PPR, keeper league, terrible season there. We got Malik Willis to 499 for the Titans, Jared. My uh, my PPR league, which is the work league, the Jaspi work league, also not going very well. But I still might be able to slip into a playoff spot if I beat Teddy this week, which I should be able to do. Yeah, I should be able to beat him comfortably. So he is at about 120 points, and I'm at 73 points. But he only has Romeo Dobbs left. I still have Jordan Love, Tyree Kill, and Saquon Barkley, Miami defense. I should be able to make that up, right? 
119.66 minus 73.7. That's about 40, almost 46 points, 45.96 points. One, two. With four players left, divided by four. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. It's about 11 and a half points per player. I mean, Jordan Love should get like 15 to 20 points pretty easily. Tyree Kill will get like 20, 25 points in a PPR. Saquon should get like 15 points pretty easily. Miami defense, about 10 points, 10, 15 points. I got it. Joe Pizzle, what's going on? How do Dodger fans feel right now? Pretty good. Pretty good. I think a lot of Dodger fans were complaining last season because Dodgers didn't sign anybody last season. Of significance. And that, and the, you know, the storyline last year, last off season was, well, they're doing this so they could save up for Otani. And they did. And they knocked it out. So now, the Dodgers, what the Dodgers actually don't need often. What the Dodgers really need is, is, is starting pitching. So hopefully they're not done yet. I think, I think they'll try to, I mean, I think, I don't know if they're going to be able to sign Yamamoto, but I think they'll give, him, give it a run. I think they'll be more active in the trade market. They have a lot of, they have a lot of prospect assets that they could probably turn into starting pitching. Tyler Glass now, Shane Bieber maybe. Dylan Cease, a lot of guys out there that, that the Dodgers can use. Yeah, I know. There is no excuses. But again, I mean, you know, it's starting pitching. That's, that's what's going to carry any team through the playoffs. So something they did not address last season. It's something that I'm, they feel like they have to address this season. Otani's not going to win him the World Series by himself. But it'd be an awfully big waste if they don't invest seriously in starting pitching, championship caliber starting pitching. And I don't want to see the Dodgers try to, like, let's try to re do a reclamation project on some aging pitcher or veteran. No, we need championship quality pitchers, like right now. You're paying way too much for Otani to like, it's like, a, what would the example be? What's a good example? It'd be like buying a Ferrari, or Lambert, buying an Aston Martin, and then getting crappy tires. You know, it's like, it's like getting a sports car and then you're gonna put like the lowest octane gas in there. Got our first autograph, it's Logan Hall, rookie auto for the Buccaneers. That's for Chris Parent and the Bucks. Walker Bueller should be back. But, you know, he's coming off a serious injury. I don't know if the Dodgers really wanna if they really wanna push him. It's James Robinson, and then all the other pitchers are like youngsters. I don't think Kershaw will be back until James Robinson will go to the Jags. That'll be for Christopher. Um, Kershaw's not even re-signed. Who knows if he will re-sign. He got sol shoulder surgery. He's probably not back until after the All-Star break anyway. And then you got a collection of youngsters. Gavin Stone, Ryan Pepio. Bobby Miller is great, but it's just his second full season. Or I guess his first full season. I think he was, wasn't called up until later. So it's hard to like really rely on, on that group. I don't know who else is even there. Gonsolin maybe, who maybe due to injury last year and just regression to the mean, you know, he's not a frontline starter. Some of the youngsters could turn into frontline starters, but, but um, 
you know, that window, you know, they, they, they can't wait for those guys to develop, at least not at the front of the rotation. And we got rookie force, Aiden Hutchinson, piece of his jersey. Yeah, Bobby Miller is good. But I'd like to kind of see him be a number three starter or something like that and just kind of ease into not have all that number one starter pressure on him, especially in the playoffs. But yeah, the Dodgers will need a couple... We'll definitely need two solid front of the rotation type starting pitchers. And they've got the resources to trade, like a Glasnow. All right, final box coming up. No kabooms yet. We did get an explosive, but no kabooms. So hopefully, the, can the last box deliver? We'll see. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for getting in. I mean, Otani will pitch, but he won't pitch until 2025. He's still recovering from that arm issue. Well, yeah, I mean, that's why you don't pay him now, play him now. You preserve that arm, so if you rush him back from that elbow surgery, then he's probably out for even more years, and you delay his pitching even more. But this season, he's he's a he's a hitter. There's Sauce Gardner, and he, I mean, he might hit 50 home runs this year. There's a full-time DH. Your Sauce Gardner, piece of his jersey going to Lucas. And a Jamar Chase, 320 out of 499 for Cincinnati. Lucas, we're on to Cincinnati. When he's washed up. You know, I, one, one thing I do hope, and I'm sure you know, the Dodgers staff is, is, is pretty good, just from top to bottom, but you know, maybe, uh, maybe Otani can, can go on like the LeBron James workout plan or something like that to, to make sure his body's in tip top shape year after season after season. All right, gang, that was it. No kabooms, but we did get one explosive. No players worth 700 million. Yeah, maybe not. But eventually some player is gonna be worth 7 million, 700 million. There's the Cooper Cup, you know, the way salaries increase every year. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was the absolute blaster case break. Just one explosive. We're hoping for some more kabooms, but I think we might have another case that we can work on. So give that a shot, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks, everybody.